Well, let's um, let's let's crack something open. Okay. I'm gonna have beers for the Fourth of July, but yeah. summer drink. But we're kicking off <laughs> into the weekend. Aperol spritzes. I'm so excited about this because I think it's been like ten years since I've had an Aperol spritz. So you're no, an OG on the Aperol spritz. Yeah. So are these are these like classic or what? All right. So anything to be a spritz is three parts sparkling wine, two parts spirit, and one part sparkling water. I'm use canned oh. sparkling wine. I mean, instead of using crappy Prosecco. You're so responsible. So I'm I love crappy use... Prosecco, so. <laughs> what are you using? Sparkling Rosé. Oh, wow. From California. Oh, yeah. So a little bit nicer quality, a little bit more flavor. <laughs> you see me just staring at it? <laughs> um, He's being so responsible. Here I got to use college. a jigger because I'm really bad at measuring out parts for drinks. Isn't it true that, isn't there like these lines of red solo cups? Yeah, something? so you can actually see I poured out three drinks and it's oh, okay. one of the lines. I'll just, it's so responsible. <laughs> now, two parts Aperol. Now, I have been on Aperol spritzes for longer than they've become popular recently. Yeah, is this like a new Aperol thing? spent a lot of money. I also oh. think they got some money from the Italian government because they're not only promoting Aperol, they're promoting Prosecco. Because if you look at yeah. oh. the, uh, the recipe label recipe, it says Prosecco DOC because they're all fancy. This also should be over ice, but I don't like that because it waters it down too much and we're inside and it's cold and down here. Well, I like ice. I have to say, I do think like this was way more than 10 years ago now that I think about it, but shout out to my friend Abby. White peach ginger bubbly. Oh, yeah. I think flavored bubbly mixing in your drinks changes the game. I agree. Okay, so I'm excited for this. I did have my very first Aperol Spritz in Italy um, with my friend Abby when we backpacked there. It was like our college graduation gift to one another. So more than 10 years ago. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Happy summer. Mmm. <sighs> oh. Woo. It's so refreshing. Tastes like summer, but mm. I think I need ice to water mine down. Mm. <laughs> What? It is delicious. I think the, the bubbly makes a difference. I agree. The flavored bubbly. You get a little bit more sweetness and mm. the ginger part of it. Yeah. A little extra. It goes great with the Aperol bitterness. Would you put other flavors or just that one? You could do orange. You could do, uh, you could do strawberry. Yeah, strawberry. You could do mm. the watermelon would probably be good. I think that I just bought some blackberry. Oh, I love blackberry. You better listen back a few episodes to hear how obsessed Nick and I were are with all the bubbly flavors. <laughs> We still need to do an episode where we do that. So Aperol spritzes. Make yourself an Aperol yep. spritz. Put a big orange slice on it. Do all the Instagram things. Put it in a things, beautiful cup. Or just drink it in a red cello cup. <laughs> like us. And just chug <laughs> it because it is so delicious. It tastes like summer.